All right, hey there preppers, Adam back with the Doomsday Adam. And uh, today I'm gonna show you what I carry in my get home slash bug out bag. Let's get to it. We'll start out with this guy. The radio on my truck stopped working, so I just went ahead and pulled this out. And what this is, is a uh, emergency radio it's hand cranked so you can see the little red light on there whenever I'm cranking it uh, it also has a solar panel right here it, uh, it can charge via the Sun so I like having that in my truck so if I have it on the dash playing music it'll also charge uh, it also has a USB out and a USB in so you can charge it via your phone charger or you can hook your phone up to it and charge your phone so that's nice and then it also has a little flashlight. You have uh, AM, FM, and weather band. So let's find the weather band channel. There we go. So we also carry some uh, Mountain House freeze-dried meals. This one is the chili mac with beef. So that way I have extra food, the full meals that I can actually eat. Next up, we have a clean canteen, uh, single wall, a uh, stainless steel water bottle with a screw-on lid. Uh, basically, you can fill this up with like pond water and because it's non-insulated, it's just a single wall of metal. You're able to put it over a fire as long as you don't have a lid on it. Uh, wrap some metal wire around this, hang it over the fire, set it on the fire, and you can actually boil your water in this. All right, next on the table, uh, I live in Texas. Pretty much there's no knife. I could go around carrying this machete around whenever I wanted. Uh, it's just a cheapy one. I got this like in a battle box, I think. It's a DEFCON 5 tactical products machete. It's got nice little finger grips here, uh, finger hole for your index finger. And this blade comes out. I haven't messed with this in a long time, but right out of the box it was very sharp and then I went through and sharpened it even more. This thing is like... You can sit and take hair off your arm all day long with it. I also have this guy. It is a combat shovel. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what brand it was. I think it's Cold Steel makes it. Uh, the sheath comes off. You can tell I've, I've actually had to use it before. It's still kind of caked with dirt. But uh, it is a very, very strong shovel. Um, the attachments on it where it attaches to the wood are very nice and the, the wood handles are replaceable so you can unscrew it and put a new handle on if you were to break it. And then also the edge of it, whenever you get it, is already sharpened. And then I went through and sharpened it even more. It's not like super sharp because it is a thicker metal, but it works, it, it gets the job done. All right, so now let's get into the main bag itself. This is a Maxpedition Falcon 2 backpack. Uh, whenever I bought it, I believe it ran for about $200. And I looked the other day um, for a friend, actually shout out to Troy from Beyond 1031. If you guys are interested in watching any kind of uh, daily vlog channel, uh, he, w he used to do daily vlogs about Halloween and running a haunted house in his backyard. Anyways, uh, yeah, shout out to him. Go check out his channel, Beyond 1031. I was actually doing some investigating uh, on all the stuff that I've purchased uh, so that I could send that to him. Uh, and that's also one of the main reasons I'm creating these videos. Right, so anyways, let's get into the bag. Uh, this is an amazing bag. Whenever I purchased it, I think it was about $200. Uh, now it's about $100. Uh, it is 1,000 denium nylon which pretty much is the strongest nylon you can have for a backpack. Uh, water resistant, if not waterproof. Uh, it has a drainage hole at the bottom, so if you do get water in it, it'll, it'll uh, drain out. Uh, just an amazing backpack altogether. Now there are other brands that make similar backpacks in the style to this. Um, their quality just may not be as good. That's why I went with the Maxpedition because I know they have excellent quality bags. I have a Climatech cool weather sleeping bag. It's rated for about 40 degrees, 20 degrees to 40 degrees Fahrenheit. It's a very compact sleeping bag for cold weather. 
which really right about now I don't need it. I could probably switch to my warmer weather one or just not have one at all. But uh, yeah, still a great backpack. Uh, it's compression strap that one came loose. But, or I said, I think I said backpack, sleeping bag. Very good sleeping bag. Now also on the outside of the bag, but uh, I have this little capsule. It came with like my very first uh, battle box. And it basically just has, you know, the sunglasses that they give you at the uh, eye doctor whenever you have your eyes dilated, the real thin ones. That's basically what's in here uh, with a little strap on the back to hold them to your head. Uh, so it's a great little backup pair of sunglasses. And then I also have a tick remover. This is my canteen. Um, the casing that it's in, this green bag, I actually bought at a uh, military surplus store. And it came with the green canteen that normally comes with it, but uh, it had a really bad, funky plastic taste, and I didn't know where it had been. Uh, and it was kind of the seal on the lid was busted up, so I, I bought a different one. But uh, in this bag in here, it's gonna be hard to get out, but we have the uh, water purification uh, tablets and the uh, neutralizing tablets to get rid of that bad taste. This is, I believe, a Nalgene bottle. It's a plastic canteen. Uh, blue in color, I just like the blue. Uh, but it, it's BPA free, all the chemicals free. Fits perfectly in the original uh, kidney cup that came with the original setup. Uh, so it fits perfect in that, as you can see. Uh, I have it filled with water at all times just in case and then it does have the attachment for your uh, respirator if you're wearing a respirator you can still drink your water altogether it's a great canteen the little pouch that I have up top is my fire pouch so I have a bunch of different stuff in here we'll go over uh, I have a Fresno lens let me see this is a wax infused piece of cloth, which it doesn't really seem to be wax infused anymore because it sat in the heat for so long. But I carry these everywhere I go in my wallet. Uh, that way they're great fire starters. If your tent, your sleeping bag, something like that gets a hole in it, you put that over, put a little bit of heat and it'll actually seal it off. Uh, you can use these for polishing stuff, for lubricating things uh, like metals and stuff. Uh, really great. Piece of fabric there. Okay, so I also have two of these ferrocerium rods uh, right here that you can pick up at Walmart pretty cheap. They're uh, they're pretty decent quality. Don't, I mean, they're not amazing, but they are pretty good. Also, have this little match container, and I uh, got store a pretty good uh, load of stormproof matches in there. Uh, took a bunch of black duct tape and just rolled it flat. That way it doesn't take up a bunch of space. Uh, I also have this guy, which is a rope lighter. This is pretty neat. I didn't think I would like it at first, but it's all it's not all that bad. So it has a small uh, flint, which is what people call it, but the uh, the, the present or uh, ferrocerium rod inside, just like a lighter wood. Let me get that up close so you can see it. And uh, pretty much what you do is you burn the end of your rope to get it charred. And then you go just like that a couple times on that char. You'll get a, uh, a nice little uh, coal basically in there, help you start a fire. And then whenever you're done, just that might have been going. You just pull it down, and it the uh, ball right here smothers the flame out. Well, it's not really a flame. It's like I said, it's more of just like an ember, but it smothers that out. So it's a pretty good little tool there. Uh, and then I also got this, which I'm not sure what the company is. I'm going to put it down here. Uh, that way you can check it out. It is one of the best fres or, uh, ferrocerium rods and magnesium fat wood that I've ever gotten. So with it, you get a duct tape roll with magnesium shavings already in it to help start a fire quickly. Uh, you get a piece of fat wood with that. There's a bunch of resin in that. Um, and then your uh, magnesium and ferrocerium rod. 
there and a striker here and it's magnetically locked in there they say that it is the softest magnesium you can buy so you basically just sit here and you can scrape off pretty decent sized uh, curls of magnesium and you get a good little pile going and you'll be able to strike it get you a fire all right so jumping into the second pouch on the front of the bag slightly bigger pack we have the uh, I'll let you read it yourself yep so it's pretty much it has uh, toilet paper about four feet wet wipes disposable bag hand sanitizer uh, etc kind of make your your stay a little bit better uh, next up we have a Camillus Camillus uh, folding saw. It is not the best folding saw. I got this at Walmart, but it will do the job. So I have one little mini LED flashlight. We also have a mini bottle of uh, Repel 100 insect repellent. And uh, it's basically almost 100% deep. This is what's going to keep you safe and away from the bugs. Here. I also have a, another Sawyer mini water filter um, and then the straw and the pump or the, the flush basically the syringe that flushes it out but I went and wrapped uh, black duct tape around because the middle part so much thinner I went ahead and wrapped duct tape around that to make it smooth basically but then that also gives me more duct tape to be able to use also if you do use one of these I would recommend buying another one and keeping the used one inside your house and the reason I tell you that is because whenever you use these if it gets cold and the they'll actually freeze and crack and then it won't do its job uh, so if you use it and you're out camping or something that's cold outside keep it inside your jacket where it's closer to you uh, so that way your body heat keeps it warm from freezing I also have a new bundle of black paracord I think it's like 50 feet and then in here they're probably not going to be able to see them but I have three bundles of copper uh, snare wire I have a sharpening stone uh, in this little match container so I have Advil, uh, Benadryl, Prevacid I think they're melatonin yeah I'm pretty sure I put melatonin in there so not only do I have my medication in here, I also have these Wise uh, little tablets. And what these are is you get them wet and they expand into toilet paper. Biodegradable, flushable, etc. Great little things of toilet paper. Then we also have another thing of uh, wound up duct tape. And that's it for that pouch. Move on to the rest. The second pouch unzips about uh, two thirds of the way down and then it opens up and I'll pull some of this stuff out. First thing we got is some uh, IOSAT, yeah, IOSAT tablets. This is so that if there is nuclear exposure, these will prevent your thyroid from absorbing that uh, radiation. These are extremely dangerous to take, so don't take them unless you are instructed to take them. Uh, by a, like a medical professional. Then I have this little waterproof bag here. You get folded up. Uh, normally I'll have a pair of socks and such in here, but right now I have a map of the state of Texas and a little bit up into Oklahoma where I usually will be working. So that way if I have to walk home, I have a map if the phones don't work. Uh, cotton bandana. Obviously they have a lot of good uses. Um, another cotton bandana, and a pair of underwear. Uh, normally I'll have an extra pair of socks in here. I have a relatively okay compass uh, with a signaling mirror. I also have three of these yo-yo fishing reels. Basically what you do is in this hole right here, you tie a string, tie it up to a tree, put your bait, your lures, and all of that on the end of this uh, string right here. And then whenever you let it go into the water, whenever you pull this out, it has these little rivets. You just push that down and it sits. All right. So then whenever a fish pulls on it, it unlocks and it'll yo-yo up. Then I have uh, some trip wire. 
fishing line and a little card with different punch outs that you can do for like fishing lures. So this is the trip line that I have and uh, in the dark this stuff is near invisible. Um, so you can kind of string this out, tie some soda cans or something on it and if somebody trips over it it'll shake those soda cans. But uh, what I actually have are something completely different. Um, they're little pieces like metal stakes you stick in the ground you put a 22 blank in it and whenever it pulls it actually pops that and makes a loud uh, gun basically firing sound because that's what it is uh, but I'll get into those in the next video but yeah that's that's my trip line uh, this is the main pouch I like it because it unzips all the way to the bottom so you can completely like clamshell it open uh, now in the the big part of the pouch I keep my tarp, which is a Boundary Waters tarp. It's pretty nice. I've actually used it before. I have a miniature one of the, uh, the little waterproof pouches. I keep a flashlight in here with Duracell batteries. And then the weather radio you saw also usually will go in this pouch. I also carry this really nice, uh, what is this, K-Bar K-Bar knife, super sharp as well. Uh, this was used, I believe, in the Navy. I also was keeping uh, three MREs, which are field strip MREs. And what that basically means is I took all the unnecessary stuff out of it, resealed it, and it holds a tighter spot. Uh, so these are getting pretty close to being able to be thrown away, uh, which is unfortunate, but at the same time, they're great to have. Uh, I am thinking, though, about switching these back for the freeze-dried meals that I have. Uh, that way I can keep those in there for a lot longer without having to worry about them spoiling. Um, I also carry this little can of fuel that you can buy at Walmart and the uh, attachment for it. You just screw this on, open these guys up, fold these out, and you can put your pot on that, on this. Boil your water cook a meal, whatever the case may be. Uh, they're very inexpensive. Uh, I think you can pick one up at Walmart for maybe 20 for a, a, a nicer one, but yeah, not too bad. I also, uh, in the smaller side here, carry um, this deal that goes, it's a uh, little squeeze pouch for the Sawyer Mini filter that I have. Help store water. Carry a spoon, a little plastic spoon. And this is a seasoning uh, warm beverage bag from uh, one of the MREs. So I have coffee, sugar, creamer, uh, thing of the uh, MRE toilet paper. And what I did in here was I created little salt and pepper dills. I just took a straw, cut it up into small pieces, burned one side and crimped it with a pair of pliers, filled it up with pepper, and then crimp the other side and now it's nice and sealed same i did with the salt and i believe i did some like italian yeah i did some italian seasoning here the other thing that i carry or really the last thing that i carry in this bag is the bear bowl and i'll get up close so that you can see this a little bit better this folds almost completely flat it has a metal base here and the canvas bag that has been sealed uh, with a like waterproofing material, very plasticky. But uh, so you undo this strap here, unfold it, pull these two sides up. These guys come over here, and then you line them up with that little uh, clip. Same on this side. You line these guys up with that clip. And this one actually has a clip on it, so you can pop that in, and then you do the other side, and the handle basically comes over. Now you can boil water in a little canvas pouch that folds down into basically nothing. It's really nice. The video that I just put out of my bug out bag is strictly to show you what I have, and what I carry, and what I trust my life on pretty much. Um, everybody thinks different everybody has a different skill set that being said some of the stuff that I carry you may not need or vice versa 
do your research, uh, find out what you're gonna need to, to put in your bag. Uh, also, if you have children or a girlfriend, a wife, whatever's gonna be going with you, uh, tailor their bug out bag specific for them. If there's any medications that you need to use daily, vitamins that you take daily, stuff like that, go ahead and put those in there. Uh, just make sure that you're going through your bag regularly, checking expiration dates and making sure that things are up to date. Uh, another thing is uh, making sure your bag is fit for the weather that you're experiencing. Like I said in here, the sleeping bag that I have is for the winter time. Well now it's spring, starting to get warmer outside, so I'm gonna switch that for a, a lighter material so that I don't get hot. This may not be the perfect bag for you. It's definitely not the perfect bag for me, but it's gonna do the job. So just take, take everything that I've taught you uh, via this video and shown you. Go out, do your research. There's tons of other preppers that put out multiple other videos. Go check their videos out. Uh, take some information from this video, from that video, from my video. Put it all together. Use all of this information to fit something specifically for you. Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and post those down below. Um, I would like you to go ahead and like the video, subscribe if you liked it, if you like the content that I've been pushing out, uh, turn on the bell notification. If you don't like the video, give it a dislike. It doesn't really bother me. It's still an engagement on my video, still gets me more engagement. Somehow it helps out with the whole algorithm thing. That being said, see you guys next time.